What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about the current state of Destiny 2. The game has been out a little over two months now and in the minds of many people it's already dead. Today I want to discuss this point with you guys so if you'd like to share your opinion on this be sure to leave a comment down below. Also if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it seriously helps me and my channel out. Okay, so Destiny 2, a game we all thought was going to be everything the first game was, and much more. How long were we all? So it's been out a few months now, and to be honest, this state it's in came for me literally three weeks after release. I got really bored really quick. Now I ain't going to go into every single detail of why the first few months of the game are considered by many as a disappointment, but let's just say the game did not offer what we loved about the first game. There are far less things to do, everything is way too easy and the game just doesn't have that overall feeling of work and reward. The first game, although in its year 3 stage, was a much easier grind than the year 1 days, it still took a semi decent grind to achieve that one thing you wanted. For example, a perfect road, Aya Saluna. I remember grinding strikes for the original Hopscotch Pilgrim, and I mean grinding. I must have ran strikes for months trying to get this very weapon, only to never have it drop. It was this which got me addicted though. The RNG loot system although wasn't very fair to me, it's the randomness of the loot rewards you earn which is addicting. Yes, this isn't to everyone's taste. Many people can't grind a game 20 hours a day which I understand, but did this mean the game needed to be changed to meet their needs instead of the needs of the original fan base, which this game already had and which was growing massively from? I don't think it did. Yes they tried meeting us halfway in the middle, making it easier for casuals and keeping that end game grind in it for the likes of me as such. But where is that in Destiny 2? The game has nothing as such to keep you wanting to play. It's way way too easy to get literally everything done within a week. Put it this way and it's a great comparison. Within a month of playing Destiny 1, how many exotics did you have? Me, I had around 5 or 6, could have been up to 10 at max. Within a month of Destiny 2, how many exotics do you have? I personally have them all except the sweet business which Zer brought a few weeks back. So having all exotics within a month and only having about 5 or 6 within Destiny 1 within a month tells you a lot and that's really all the comparison you need. Now I am seeing many people saying you can't really compare Destiny 2 2 months in to Destiny 1 with 3 years of expansions. I'd say you don't have to, Destiny 1's base game although not great and was basically half a game was still twice the game Destiny 2 is and offered twice as much grind. Destiny 2 is a game which should be up there but it's kind of falling way behind. Luckily Bungie have and know they have a fan base which are really forgiving and 90% of them want to see a great game and want to play a great game and would return. Luckily again they can give themselves a second chance with the DLCs which is capable of changing the game a lot. They have showed that they are listening with the changes coming on what we've asked for which will no doubt make the game a better place to be. But what scares me is this isn't a new game so to speak. Let's think of it as an expansion as it really is. Not that it isn't a full game worth but the sequel is basically picking up from where we left off within Destiny 1. So Bungie theoretically have had 3 years of listening to us and taking into account what we want. Where did them 3 years of changing the game go? Because they haven't gone into Destiny 2. And yes it's easy to say be patient with Bungie, they listen, they deliver. Which in many aspects is true. But is it forgivable that they think they can literally ignore most of the past 3 years of the game and make up for it by just saying we are listening and we'll deliver? It's one big circle and it's happened before. We had this exact same convo with Destiny 1, many changes were added for the better to make the game a better experience and in the end it kind of was. But now we have a base game in Destiny 2 which is exactly the Destiny 1 game we were all complaining about before they fixed it. If they listened we wouldn't be in this situation. Now Destiny 2 as a whole in my opinion is in the worst state it's ever been in, Destiny 1 included. Views are down for every content creator, it's super low in the rankings for streamers, many many people have moved on to other games and this is happening literally after a month. If this DLC doesn't live up to expectations I am seriously worried about what will happen next and they won't be able to blame anybody but themselves in my opinion. Now I ain't saying this because I want to see the game fail, nor do I want to see Bungie fail, that is complete BS. 
This comes all out of love for the franchise. I honestly want to see the game do good. So with the DLC, we need some serious changes. We need reason to grind. I actually picked up on this in a video a couple of days back. There was a recent flourish of players returning to Destiny 2 when the Faction Rally event hit. Were they going back for the Faction Rally? In a way yes, but not how Bungie would want. Most people including myself went back on to farm a chest which gave us easy tokens for these faction packages. A lost sector within the EDZ basically allowed us to farm and get an infinite number of tokens to spend. What you did was simply run the lost sector, defeat the boss, obtain that key and open the chest. This would then give you 3 faction tokens. You then basically went to another area which took about 5 seconds and then headed back to the chest, opened it again and got another 3 factions. People were doing this for hours and you know why? It's the kind of grind we like. Obviously not running back and forth to a chest, but having the incentive knowing we, after running the chest for a few hours, were going to get some decent loot. That's what we want from Destiny. Things to constantly grind and hopefully get that epic loot from. Destiny is a looter shooter. We shoot things, we loot things. At the moment all we do is shoot things because the loot is useless. Bungie need to learn from this chest farm. Take into account many many people came back to play the game because of this and work with it. Give us things to grind for. Give us reason to grind. Simple things like strike exclusive loot, a game something the first game offered which the second doesn't. These alone get many many people playing. I and millions of other people loved farming Omnigal, trying to get that grasp of Malek and when it did finally drop, no matter the role, you were happy. And this is what we miss. Even a PvP ranking system. This alone gives people incentive to play and something to chase and would indeed get many many people playing PvP. The average PvE player normally looks to PvP when all is dry in PvE. But why play a game which has no reward? Simple levels to chase are what many people enjoy doing. Why has one not been incorporated into this game? Fortnite added one within weeks. COD has always had one. So why would the average PvE player play PvP on the same game for no reward when their need for reward is rewarded to them on other games? So yes, going back to what I said at the start, the game is way, way too easy and way, way too casual and things need to be harder. Loot needs to be harder to obtain, but there needs to be a better reward system in the game. Although this sounds like BS, but a longer grind for unknown better rewards, which ain't in fact guaranteed, is what most people got addicted to within the first game. That element of surprise after grinding for hours upon hours was super addicting, and while many people didn't even realise it, it kept people playing. I just don't understand how Bungie have missed this simple point from the first game. But hey, like I said, Bungie can give themselves a second chance with the future DLCs. They can easily change things and put features into place which would make the game a better place to be. I just seriously hope they get it right with the Curse of Osiris and what's coming with Season 2. Now we've got three streams this month on the Curse of Osiris and Season 2 so stay tuned for any info that comes from them. You'll find them covered here on my channel. But on that note guys, I am out. Thanks for stopping by as always. Tell me what you think about the current state of Destiny 2 now. Tell me what you think about the future of it. I look forward to reading your comments and I also look forward to seeing you on my next video.